thank you for being here. Thank you for all that stuff. So thank you, Brian, again. And he's going to be here throughout the day. One of the things that uh, you may have seen, Brian, and some of the people come in. Have a seat, please. Thank you. Is uh, sometimes they come in for an hour, 45 minutes, and then they leave. I actually wanted him to be here, uh, his blessing for the whole day. And that's the most important part. Thank you. Uh, have a seat. And one of the things that I want to share with you is uh, some of you know that I'm writing my seventh, eighth, ninth book. And... Um, the reason I'm doing that is between you and I, the truth is, I actually do not like to physically write the books. I actually don't enjoy the act of writing. Over the years, I can get used to it, but it's not my plurking. But one thing is for sure, there's no way <clears throat> I would be on stages around the world if I had not written books. I get invited to stages to media, to, to co-author, to do joint ventures because I've written a book. And you don't write a book once, you keep writing them if you can. Now here's the secret that I like to give it to you, <clears throat> and that is this. Many people come to me and say, Sunil, I want to write my own book. I don't want to co-author, I just want to write my own book. And I want to tell you one thing. In books, the main reason why you write books is not to write them. You don't want to become the best writing author. You want to become what? Best-selling best author. And when I was growing up, my English was bad. My spelling is still bad. I still, you know, those of you get my emails, you see all the email mistakes, uh, the spelling mistakes and grammar mistakes and all that stuff. So Kiyosaki said that I am a best-selling author, not best writing author. And one of the things that I'm going to give you that is going to change your life completely right now for your own book is this. You co-author a book with a legend now, then you write your own book. When you write your own book, on the cover of the book, you say from the best-selling author who co-authored a book with Brian Tracy, for example, and you put it on the front cover of your book. This is a million-dollar idea for you guys. You know. And I remember writing, co-authoring a book with Brian Tracy maybe seven years ago during the tough times. And what I found was up to that point, I was going after people. I was asking clients, hey, you got money, you got money, you got money. Um, which I was successful, but I was going after people. Once I wrote a book, they were coming after me with checks and saying, we want to do business with you. Um, my coaching business went skyrocket, my real estate investment business went skyrocket, and my private investment club grew like crazy because of that reason. And um, Brian talks about how do you build that authority and credibility, and as me, I never even thought. In fact, there was a part of me that said, you don't deserve it. You don't deserve to write a book with somebody like Brian, for example. You don't deserve it. And um, I can tell you that if you're over 30, 35 years old, um, you deserve to write it. Now, if you're 20, you deserve to write it because you have life experience to do it. But you, ha you deserve to write a book to make that happen. So if you have that to-do list and you really want to write a book, I have three different legends that you can write a books with. Number one is Mr. Brian Tracy. Number two, if you're strictly in real estate, Mr. Robert G. Allen. And number three, as of Wednesday, we put a deal together with the legend uh, Shark Tank, uh, Kevin Harrington, who's also going to be writing books with us to do that. So depending upon which area, yes, you guys can clip. I used to think that that was not doable. This is not me. I'm just, I'm just supposed to do my own thing, and that's it. Don't write books and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Come and see me. Come and see me at lunchtime, break time, and I'll let you know how to get, you know, how to get, be part of that program. And if you want to ever be on big stages, if you ever want to be doing all that kind of stuff, come and see me as well to, to, so I can uh, help you get there if you, that's what you want to do. If you want to be in front of a big crowd and you want to be, you want to be sharing stages with uh, legends uh, such as Brian Tracy, Come and see me because I can make it happen for you. It's not just learning. I will make it happen for you. And I want you to do it if you feel you want to go to the next level. 
So I remember I, I went to Hollywood and uh, I had a, a book that I co-authored and uh, I came down and this is what I do. I, I come down to the, um, <clears throat> to the hotel lobby and I take my book and I was holding my book and I said to the person, um, I would like to see the manager of the hotel. Now, when you say that, what do you think people are thinking about? <laughs> Something's wrong. We were there for seven days with my wife. So I said, I want to see somebody. And they're like, well, is there anything wrong? I said, no, no, just, just, uh, I just want to talk to your manager. So you go in, and there's a little crack that they go in, and there's a little glass. And I can actually see them talking to each other. And they're looking in here and wondering. And, and I was well dressed and all that kind of stuff. So he's thinking, okay, so he's really well prepared. This young man comes out and says, yes, sir, what can I do for you? I said, I want to tell you this. I, I travel around the world. I go to many, many different hotels. I'm a best selling author. And I said, I want to give you, and I, what I did was I wrote a testimonial and autographed it in that book. And I said, what I want to do is I want to give this book to you because you guys are totally awesome. And I gifted that book to him. That man changed completely. All of a sudden, I was a star. He takes a business card and he says, here's my personal cell number. Next time you come to this hotel, call me. We'll give you a good deal. So I said, okay. So we sit down, and, and I'm waiting for my taxi to come, and then waiting for taxi to come to take us to the airport in, 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 in uh, Hollywood. And this beautiful Lincoln, brand new almost, pulls up right in front, of my, in front of me. And the guy comes out, and he starts to take our stuff and puts it into the beautiful Lincoln car. And I said, whoa, 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 hang on a second, that's my stuff. They go, we know, it's on the house. It's on the house. And I want you to know that you do not need to be a regular person anymore. In fact, if somebody says you're ordinary or you're normal, that's a bad thing. You want to become the most abnormal person on this planet. And I want you to do it by building your brand personally and your business, you know. And then I gave it to my friends. Then I flew to India. And when I flew to India, I had a suitcases of books with Brian and, and other people and all that stuff. And, and, and just waited so, wait so much. I took it to India. And there's a little town in India called Kutni. In Kutni area, everyone is my cousin. <laughs> He is your sister's brother's mother's sister's cousin. Okay, so he's what? My cousin. Okay, great. He is blah, blah, blah. So he's my uncle. Okay, so either you're my uncle, aunt, or my cousin. That's it. Or my sister. That's it. Um, so when I went there and I opened the books and I said I, co I did this and became a bestseller, the problem became I gave a book to him, I gave a book to her, book to him, her, 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 and all that stuff. And then there's like 50 other people who... I said, you know what, I'm going to just send you an e-book. They're like, why, don't you love me? <laughs> Where's my book? Now, I could, t I could have taken $100 worth of gifts, or $200 worth of gifts, and this book that I gave to them, they very proudly put it right in the living room, saying, we know this guy. He's, he, yeah, he, he gifted that to me. He, and I autographed it and all that kind of stuff. And the, 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 the stardom or the growth of the business just exploded because of that reason. And then my Nav, uh, who's a marketing manager for um, Private Investment Club, says, hey, we should have a uh, media come in and talk about this. I said, media? I never had a media. You know, what do you call those conferences where people come in and you sit in the front and they give you all these mics and all that? What do you call that? Press release. Press, yeah, I don't know. Maybe media release, press release, whatever. Press conference. Press conference, that's it. They're going to have a first press conference. And so we're in the city, and it says, Here, here's a guy from Canada who wants, who's a real estate investor and a best-selling author. And we want to invite everything. So how we do it, did it? We actually said, hey, come for free lunch in a five-star hotel. That's, that, was the, that was the idea. We gave it to 50 people. 20 of them showed up. And I remember for the very first time in my life, I'm sitting here, and I had 18 different mics right in front of me. 
and they were recording everything and I'm sitting here and the guy says, hey, is your idea of coming to the city to expand private investment club? I said, yes. <laughs> hey, uh, is, is it better for Indians to invest in Canada in the USA? Yes, it is better, I'm telling you. They go, if one wants to invest in the United States, are you the person who can help? Yes. 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 <laughs> are you the guy who's actually coming to India to expand your business? I was thinking inside, man, these questions, I wish they had told me before so I could prepare for it. And my answer to everything they were saying it was yes. We chose 10 people from the media and we gave the gift of that book to those 10 people. I got into television, I got into magazine, I got into Hindi language newspapers, and I'm like with the picture and everything, a guy goes from India, goes to Canada, owns the largest club, and now he's gonna help you make money. I'm like, this is God sent, like wow. Then, I always, I'm from New Delhi, India, New Delhi. And poor guy goes from Delhi to, so I go from GDA, Greater Delhi Area, to GTA, Greater Toronto Area. <laughs> so I come here and, 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 and then, after this press conference and all that stuff, I went, spent seven years bang, going to India and saying, man, there's 1.2 billion people. They are billionaires. They are millionaires. I got to go do business with them. And I wasn't going to be able to get on the stages. And then, two years ago, they said, we got your book. Could you please come to New Delhi in my old town? And there's going to be three to 400 very wealthy Indians in that audience, would you consider coming what we cannot pay you? Now I charge $10,000 uh, mostly to go speak at stages, but for this, I made an exception. And I showed up. And my life, you have to wonder, it's almost like starting from certain things and then going and then coming right back. And I was on the stage with in India, doing this in English, and the story was, I was poor right here in this city. I went there, and I did this, and this is how I can help you. And I have to tell you, those guys were like, wow! And I had people coming to me, and one person comes to me and says, I'd like to buy this book. And I said, yes, it's $30. That's just 1,500 rupees, which is their version. The guy is a young kid, and he started to cry. He says, look, I'm in university. I cannot afford it. And I said, what can you afford? He says, really, the biggest thing on this planet for me would be that if you can gift this book to me. So I just did this. So here you go. Yes, you can excuse me. The guy started to cry. He started to touch my feet. He started to say, you know, I will never forget you. And I still remember that guy's face, by the way. Only because I wrote a book. He would have never known about me. And now, I get people calling me from all over the world and say, come and speak in front of my group because of that one thing. So I want to tell you something. Yes, you need a good product. Yes, you need to be honest. Yes, you need to help people. The only trick is, how do people find out about you, about your services? It's not once they, people go, well, you know what, once people get to know me, oh yeah, they're going to do business with you. Yeah, the question is, how do people get to know you in the first place? How do you attract these people? Okay? So, if you want to do something like this, you want to raise money for your real estate, you want to grow your company, training company, whatever company you have, don't just stay with your ceiling. Please shoot through the ceiling. Get as many stages as possible. Write books. Upbrand yourself with the people who are well known. I want you to think about this way. A few years ago, I was only reading Jack's book, Jack Canfield's book, Brian Tracy's book, Robert Allen's book, and a few other people watching Shark Tank and all that stuff. Now I'm doing businesses with them. 
and it is actually an example of how to create a win-win how to do this to help you guys, help the company, and help everybody else. This is what you have to do if you really want to go to the next level. So I'll invite you um, at the lunchtime, come and see me. Don't be afraid, don't be scared, you know. And what's the biggest uh, poison that uh, we drank as we were growing up? Try again. I can't? Say it one more time. Okay, let's do it now. Let's un unclear that out. Say it, I can't afford it. Ready? One, two, three. I can't afford it. This side. I can't afford it. This side. I can't afford it. Whoa! Give yourself a hand. Let's do that. By the way, I'm going to, uh, uh, I'm going to be inviting later on all the speak, uh, all the uh, co-authors for the book one and partially for the book two to come up. I want to let you know this is the prototype. It probably has some spelling mistakes and all that stuff, but we wanted to make it happen for today because we are blessed with having Brian here. And what I did was you know, during the time I was sitting there, I brought a few books of mine with Brian Tracy, the brand new, never seen by anybody else. And, and, and the only people who may will see it later on is the authors who actually are, are writing a book. And I actually got three books signed by Brian. And I'm going to gift it to one to Platinum, one to VIP, and one for General as a gift. Is that a good well, thing or what? <laughs> All right. Let's see. <clears throat> You know, we were sitting in the lunch area before and all that stuff we were talking, and I said, you know, we all know Brian Tracy. We all know him. He is a big brand. We know that. But it was my first pleasure to meet Michael for the first time ever. And I really want to see, being a son of Brian Tracy, what does that do? Like how, you know, is there something, a story or something that you can talk about to sort of encourage us to, go, encourage us to the next level and all that stuff?